Welcome. My name's Arna, and I am going to show you how cache drawers work on the POS. Now, what's a cache drawer? Where an employee is taking in cash and handing out change for sales being made, you may want to be able to track how much cash the employee was given at the beginning and how much cash is left at the end of the work period. So that's all a cash drawer is. It's a way to audit the cash going out and coming in. And they should, of course, balance. So let's have a look at the POS. So I'm going to open up the POS. And there's a picture of a cash drawer right there with a POS sitting on top of it. We log in. And the first thing it's going to do, it's going the POS is asking me to assign a cash drawer to myself. And all these numbers that you see here has been configured in Manager as being the default for our cash drawer setup. And this can be configured any way you want as a total of $733.20 in the drawer. So let's push assign. Well, actually, I can ass you can assign drawers to other people. So I'm going to actually pick here the name of the employee, in this case, myself, and then push assign. Now, I have a cash drawer assigned to me with $733.20 in it. I can start selling. So I'm going to make very simple purchases just for a plain vanilla $10. So I have a $10 sale. I'm going to cash out. I'm going to take a $10 bill for that. Hit done. I don't have a printer or email. Hit done. And we'll do another one. Another $10. Check out. Taking cash, I'm actually going to take a $20 bill, which means I'm going to give a $10 bill in or, 10 or equivalent in return. And I don't have a printer or email. And I'm done. So I've made two sales, $10 each. So let's now say that it's the end of my shift. So I'm going to go to the tools, and I'm going to click on up here where it says Close drawer. I'm going to close my drawer. And I have to pick which drawer. We've got Elaine's drawer is still open. And my drawer is open. So let me pick my drawer. And here is where I would fill in all the details of what I received. So or the count, I should say, in the drawer. So I received a $20 bill. So that number is going to increase to 11. I received a $10 bill and handed out a $10 bill. So that's evens out. So let's have a look at the, the total. And here at the bottom, you can see the cash balance is zero. So this is the amount I received, sales, and zero. So this is automatically adding up all those numbers for you. So now I can push close out. I'm done for the day. Let's log out. And that's all I needed to know about cash drawers. So it's that audit at the end where you have to count what's in the drawer that's important that the employee do. Next, let's have a look at what cash drawers look like in Manager. So here's Manager, and these are the two sales 
that were just made on my white iPad. And you can see that the, the drawer was opened at 8.32 and closed at 8.35. And Elaine's purple iPad is still open. And here, this is my drawer that I created today. It's been closed out. If I open up that drawer, you can see the financial summary is I took $20 in sales. And we collected $20. The balance is zero. On the assignment tab, this is how the drawer opened. This is how it closed and the date and the time for each event. Now, how do I enable the POS to use cash drawers? Here is my POS location, Napa. Let me open up the configuration for that. And what I had done is I had said, enable cache drawers. So that's all there is to cache drawers. I hope this was useful and I look forward to seeing you the next time.